praise the Lord, men and women of God. I come to you today on the pastor's corner. You know, the Bible talks about having joy and your joy being fulfilled. You know, it's important that we don't allow anything to steal our joy. You know, joy is the strength of us and we must hold on to our joy at all times. Amen. Knowing what God has done. He bled and died. He went to a cross, you know, for me and you. And we must remember that. So I would say today, don't let nothing, nobody, steal your joy. share with you. Praise God. Because many of us have been just going through and we've been needing to see the Lord and to just know that the Lord understands where we are. He gave us this word to encourage our hearts. And it's Psalms, the number 40 verses uh, 1 through till I stop reading. <laughs> Amen. He said, I waited patiently and expectantly for the Lord and he inclined to me and he heard my cry and that's us. Then he said, he drew me up out of a horrible pit, a pit of turmoil and of destruction, and out of the miry clay, front and slime, and he set my feet upon a rock, steadying my steps, and establishes my goings. And you know, that's kind of what he's showing us, and what he wants us to share with you today, that he knows the path that we're taking. And he understands all the ups and the downs that we have gone through. Oh, but he's heard our cry today, and he is bringing us out. And so he said he put, he has put a new song in our mouth, a song of praise and praise to our God. And he said that many shall see all those that have watched us go through ups and downs and, and you've gone through ups and downs and, and you've been praying to the Lord in your secret closet, he has heard you. And today he's saying that he has heard our cry and he is about to put a spirit on us that will cause the devil to back up. Isn't that wonderful? Praise the Lord. You be blessed today and just let the Lord have his way in your life. Amen. Who are you looking for? If you've taken him, tell me where he is. Mary. Teacher? Go and tell our brothers. I am here. someone else. You think I'm mad? Peter, see the tomb for yourself. Now, do you believe me? But he's gone. Gone? No. He's back. I need a cup. I'm 
with some wine. What happened? His body. His blood. I am the way. The truth. And the life. Spirit can be with you all, whatever you are. Go into the world and preach the gospel to all creation. Peace be with you. Brothers, my sisters, we have work to do. Never be the same. Never be the same. 
Happy Resurrection Sunday, everybody. I'm so glad that Easter's more than about an Easter egg. You know, our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ rose. And, and that is a beautiful thing, a wonderful thing, the reason why we're here today. The Holy Spirit asked me a couple nights ago, what does the resurrection mean to you? To me, it means new beginnings. It means a time where we need to go out and tell people about Jesus and that they too can be saved from their sins. It means victory over the enemy. It means life. Happy Easter. Victory over Satan, sir. Uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ means to me that we are, a uh, death holds no power over humanity victory over evil. It means somebody gave their life for me so that I can live mine and so I can have a better life and a second chance. To me it means freedom. Freedom from bondage. Freedom from spiritual bondage. Physical bondage. Um, the ability to move forward into life and do whatever it is you need to do. Um, freedom. If we allow it. Resurrection of Jesus Christ means we clean and get forgiveness of sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In Bernie Bush ministry, I ask the question today, what have you done since the resurrection?